Rise and shine, my people. Welcome back to the channel. This is Evan Aga at the Astrophysique. Of course, I know. I always say this. You already knew that. However, I've got the hiccups. Nothing I can do about that right now. I'm getting out of here. About to go to Alpha Land. My first time in a week or two weeks. I don't know how long it's been. I have not been going to Alpha Land. I've just been going to Lifetime. But today, I'm going to Alpha Land. I'm meeting up with Qual. I'm meeting up with... I'm meeting up with Nick. We're gonna hit a chest and back workout. It's been a while since the three of us have gotten it in together, at least a year. The last time we worked out together, it was amazing. I was feeling sore for days. So, I don't say this often, but I'm a little bit nervous. More than that, I'm definitely excited. Here we go, I'll see you in a sec. What's going on, everybody? We have to, right? What'd you say? To. If there's I ever a day to rock. If there's ever a day to rock the Astrophysique shirt, it's today. Right on. <laughs> we just arrived here at Alpha Land Gym. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully the music here is not too loud. Met up with Nick, waiting on Qual. Right now we're gonna hit a chest and back workout. I was trying to talk in the car earlier, but my hiccups were acting up, so I figured I'd just save it for later. I'm gonna talk later in this video about how you can start making progress in your fitness journey instantly. Right here, right now, as you're watching this video, you can find ways to make progress in your fitness journey, and I'm gonna tell you how in just a sec. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. This right here, this is real support. This is what real support looks like. Yes, Nick is my friend, but everybody who's watching this, I assume you support my content in some way. This is what support looks like right here. These are his liked videos on YouTube. Wait, let it focus. <laughs> he likes every single video, watches every single video. It means so much, it means the world. It literally goes so far. So if you're watching this right now, like the video, subscribe, comment, or don't, and eventually I will put out a video so good that you absolutely have to like it, you have to comment, you just will have no choice, but if you like what you're seeing so far, go ahead and support the channel, I appreciate you. Squad? Squad today? What are you working on? <laughs> nah, bro, it's time to come outside. That's good. My guy. <laughs> What's up? Ready, <laughs> he has arrived. I got it, I got the ride. Oh yeah. But he got the t-shirt, bro. I know, Actually, cool. I know, I know, I know. If there's ever a day I said it's I know. Day. And then he, he pulled out his YouTube and he goes to his liked videos. No. And it's all my videos. <laughs> <laughs> he watches and likes every single one. Right, Chest and back, bro. Y'all ready? It's been this? a year since we've trained. It's been a year since the three of us have trained together. So we have some some ground rules to set, huh? Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. What are the ground rules? You wanna lead the workout? That's fine. Okay. Last time we trained with Nick, he put us through it. So I want Nick to lead the workout this time. I want to show you guys his style of training. It's not too different from mine, but the intensity is definitely there. I want you guys to see it. All right, all right, all right. We just finished up the session here. How was it, Qual? Uh, it was a killer workout, man. Nick, where are you going, bro? Where are you running off to? You have to. Uh, I might need a rest day. You have to. Uh, you have to. You have to explain your actions and what you did to us in today's session. How do you explain yourself? It's called hard work. That's all it is, man. Look, he calls it hard work. Nick calls it hard work. I call it torture. At the end of the day, we arrive at the same result. So, hey, what's up? So it is what it is. You know what I call it? Kind of loud in here. Euphoria. Euphoria, I like that one. Euphoria, not the show. Anyway. Well, we're in the tunnel now. Yeah, we're in the tunnel now, in the club. Anyway, we're getting out of here. Look, we actually recorded the entire workout. Qual got it on his camera. That's gonna be releasing as a separate video. Make sure you check that out. This is just a vlog. I'm gonna get into some other topics of discussion later on in this video. Just wanted to kind of vlog the day today with my guys, you'll see that full workout. It's gonna be chest and back. We absolutely destroyed it. As a matter of fact, we got destroyed by it, but it's all good. Hope you enjoy that workout, and I'll see you here in just a sec. I'm back from the gym, had myself a shower. I haven't eaten anything yet. I definitely need to eat something because that workout was absolutely killer. I keep forgetting that I didn't get any footage of it on this camera, so I'm referring at this point to a completely different video which may or may not be out already, 
But again, you have to go watch that video. The workout was insane and we dropped a lot of value throughout the entire thing. And it was just overall a great time, a fun time. So check it out. I promise you won't regret it. Anyway, I'm sitting here right now in my office. I've got another cup of coffee. I wanna knock out just a little bit of work. We were at the gym for four hours today, which is not typical for me, but of course we gotta do what we gotta do. And we made a great video, so I'm not complaining. But right now it's just past 2 p.m. I do have a couple things I need to check off my list, a couple tasks that I need to complete. I'm gonna do that while I drink the coffee and I'll show you what I eat when I do eat here in about 30 minutes or an hour or so. See, as you notice, like my priority is always getting my work done. My priority is always completing tasks. Most people, they're constantly thinking about their next meal, they're constantly thinking about food and then you struggle with losing weight or, or you struggle with your fitness journey because you're constantly thinking about food. Like you need to get busy, okay? You need to get busy, you need to focus on something, you need to have something to do so that you're not constantly thinking about food or booze or whatever it is that you're trying to let go of. So focus your energy, focus your attention on something productive and you will achieve and surpass your goal. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work here. Nothing to show, just computer work. I'll show you here in a sec what I have for my lunch or early dinner, whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, see you in a sec. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my people. I've got a new setup here. Usually I talk from the other desk, which I'm looking at right now. I just got a desk extension, which means now I'm able to put this desk right in front of the window where the beautiful natural light can hit me. I can sit further back from the camera. Hopefully you guys like it. I think it's cool. I might get some decorations here just so I can have some stuff going on behind me. But I don't want to distract you. I want the main focus to remain the main focus. Anyway, I'm not going to talk too long. I want to get into a topic of discussion for this video, which is how you can start seeing progress in your fitness journey instantly. Instantly. Now, I want you to hear me out. Okay, hear me out. Open your mind and just hear me out for a second here. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, how can you see progress instantly? right? This is usually the dream that people try to sell you that you can make results overnight. You know, you're used to hearing that that's not the case, that nothing happens overnight. The progress, the results are not instant. It takes time. It takes hard work. It takes dedication. And it's unrealistic for you to think that you can see progress and see results right now in real time. But I've cracked the code and I figured out how you can in fact see progress instantly. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not going to hold on to this information too much longer before I let it go. Put simply, you can see progress in your fitness journey instantly by changing or should I say shifting your definition of progress. When people think about progress, when people think about results in their fitness journey, they think about the before and the after transformation, the transformation photos that everybody loves to see. You put those two pictures next to each other. That is what most people think of as far as results in fitness, the before, the after epic transformation. That's what everybody wants. And I understand. And we're getting there. However, if you shift your definition, of progress and start looking at progress on a little bit of a smaller scale, you'll notice that you are in fact making progress right now. Did you go to the gym this morning? Did you stick to your diet so far today? Did you get good sleep last night? Have you been drinking water? Are you getting stronger? Do you feel good? Do you look in the mirror? and feel better about yourself than yesterday. And if you don't, you know, why not? Can you 
can you come to terms as to why you don't? So anyway, I don't want to get too far off track. My point is progress is not just the before and after transformation. Progress is the little things because that's what creates the before and the after. That's what creates the final transformation is the little things that either you're doing or you're not doing today right now. Drink some water, take a sip of water. That's progress. You're staying hydrated. You're keeping your body hydrated. Get a good night's sleep, seven hours, eight hours if you can. That is progress, real progress. In your sleep, your body is building your body. Your body is building your body. Your body is building your muscles. Your body is building your muscles. Your muscles are recovering. They need time to grow. And that's happening right now. You just don't see it, obviously, because it's inside your body. And also because you're looking too far ahead. You're looking too far ahead all the way to the end without realizing what it is that you're doing now and the importance and the impact of what you're doing now. You had a good meal this morning. You had a good breakfast. That's progress because that's one more meal that you're staying on your meal plan. That's one more meal that you didn't go off track because had you gone out for fast food instead of sticking to your meal plan, you would have ruined your progress right? For that day, at least for that meal, at least. So take it one step at a time, take your progress, look at your progress, literally one step at a time. Decrease the size or decrease kind of scale down your definition of progress. So that way you can notice more the little things that you're doing that are helping you get to your final destination one step at a time. So you need to shift your scale and at the same time, appreciate what it is that you're doing. When you start noticing these little things, then you can actually start to appreciate them more and be grateful for what you're going through and you can keep yourself going. You, you can find a lot more motivation that way. When you said, oh man, I don't feel like going to the gym today, but I already had a good meal this morning. I had two good meals and I've been drinking my water and I had a good night's sleep. You know what? I'm on a roll, let me go to the gym. Boom, more progress. All of that combines, all of that rolls into itself and results in your final transformation or your end transformation. So it really is that simple. Uh, but again, the problem is people are setting their sights too far. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that. I want you to see as clearly as you can your final destination and your goal and what you want to achieve, but don't be overly focused on that because you can't forget that there are things that you are doing and things that you have to do right now. That's what's going to get you there. You're not going to get there unless you do the things that you have to do now. Stick to your meal plan, go to the gym, train hard, challenge yourself, meditate, love yourself, love other people. Like all of that, all of that counts. And I don't want you to discount it. I don't want you to discount it because I'm sure there are plenty of things that you're doing right now in your life that you're not giving yourself credit for. And then you get discouraged because you haven't seen the big results, the big progress, and then you quit. When if instead, if you'd given yourself credit for some of these little things, if you had acknowledged and appreciated some of these little things that you are doing, That'll be a nice reminder in your mind to keep going. Something you can hold on to because that's progress. People quit when they get discouraged and they get discouraged when they feel like they're not making any progress. But you are, you are making progress. The last thing you should do is quit ever, ever. Even if you have to make up some delusional form of progress that you've made, do it. Obviously take a look at your plan make sure that your plan is structured and set up in a way for you to succeed. But don't get discouraged if you don't see the big results right away, because I promise you there are little things that you are doing that are making a difference and making an impact and bringing you closer to where you want to go. Don't discount that. Anyway, that's pretty much everything I have to say on this topic. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm happy to clarify. I'm happy to go deeper on this subject or any other subject. As you can tell, once I get into a topic, I can really get into it. But the last thing I want to do is talk around in circles. So I'm just going to stop that right there. Anyway, that's it for this video. I want to say thank you so much. 
Thank you for the support on all my platforms. I appreciate you. I love you. Shoot for the stars. So I'm eating right now. I actually plan on just ending the video there because I thought that was a great speech and I wanted to end on that. However, I know I said I was gonna show you what I eat for lunch right now. It is 3 p.m. I'm having my first meal of the day and pretty basic, just some chicken. There's, there are no carbs in this meal. After this, probably gonna have a piece of fruit just so I can have some carbs in my system. And then finish up just a couple more tasks before I go out for a hike, hopefully before dinner, before it gets dark. I like when I like when the bone is a little bit chewy so I can just eat it. Some leftovers here. And we gotta finish that. Got it done.